and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some best of one day Monday. So what we're going to be doing here on Mondays is play some best of one decks. Now we'll also have donation decks as well. And the best of one leagues are usually a little smaller. So as you can see here, I got four different best of one decks that we're going to be playing today. And also um, a donation deck that's going to be a best of three deck as well. So for those of y'all that are best of three fans, we still got a best of three deck for today. But I know there's a lot of y'all that uh, like to play uh, best of one that maybe don't want to worry about sideboarding too much, don't want to use the extra wild cards on sideboards and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully um, you guys like these best of one decks. Of course, leave the comments in the YouTube channel. Let me know if you like them and stuff. And then also, if you're if you're a big time best of one player and you have a deck that you've been playing a bunch in best of one and you really like, um, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, and I'll probably get to it next week because I don't I don't play too much best of one myself. Of course, I'm I prefer best of three, and so I I take more of like the the user submitted decks here for like these best of one decks that we're gonna be trying out, but. All right, let's talk about this one first. So we got Atarka Red. This one was a deck that was put into the the Discord channel. There's also like um, Discord channels for everybody, and some we have different uh, rooms in the Discord channel, like different like chat rooms. And, and there's a best of one chat room in there, and, and somebody put this deck in there, and it looks pretty sweet. I changed just a, just a little bit of it of it up for like some personal preference stuff, but this is what we got going on here. So it's this is Atarka Red. Um, this is just a, a callback to a, a deck uh, for Atarka's Command was a, a card that was printed in Dragons of Tarkir, and there was um, Atarka Red decks were uh, Gruel decks like this, green red, that focused on um, getting little creatures onto the battlefield. You know, like getting early drops in there, one and two mana creatures in there, getting chip shots in, and then finishing off opponents. You know, like getting like a little bit of chip damage in and then finishing off opponents with pump spells. Their their combo that they had was Become Immense, Team, or Battle Rage. That could do just a ridiculous amount of damage. What we got going on here for our pump stuff, we got Rose Thorn, Halbreds, that we can just pay for one mana and just equip it to one of our creatures. So it's more of a, a slow burn here instead of just like a, a combo kill. Um, you know, turn one of these one ones that are difficult to block, turn them into three twos immediately. So you can start hitting for three every turn with your 10 Street Dodger, for example. And then we also have a little bit of pump with the Boulder Rush with Rimrock Knight. We have Colossus to be able to give our creature plus four, plus two, and trample. We have Uncaged Fury if we want to give one of our creatures double strike, you know, surprise double strike. And then, of course, our main finisher here is Ember Cleave, giving our creature plus one, plus one, double strike, and trample. So, you know, like maybe we can, you know, get it a Dodger out there, put a Halbred on it, uh, get, get some early uh, beats in there with like for with three power and then make it a four power double striker. Of course, if we if you have something like Ember Cleave or Uncaged Fury, like, you know, we have like this combo of Colossus plus Uncaged Fury. That's plus five double strike trample um, that costs five mana to do and, you know, probably won't happen too often. But um Oh, Halberd. Oh, sorry. Halberd. <laughs> uh, my bad with that pronunciation there. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of like what our deck's about there. Uh, play small creatures. They're, all of our creatures are like haste creatures for the most part besides this thing because this, this is also a pump. But, you know, it's just haste, 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 haste. I'm going, I'm trying some, some a couple of questing beasts because this card is just so powerful. Um, but it is, it is kind of expensive for our deck. We're going 22 land. Um, of course, best of one helps fix your your uh, hand a little bit, so you get a better spell to land ratio. But it's possible that instead of questing beast, we should just have like more spell breakers in here. Um, another option is three mana Domri. They could could also help pump the power of some of these other cards. But questing beast is just awesome. Overall, this this deck doesn't have isn't too bad on wild cards overall, um, and so. This is something, you know, if you're you're somebody who's playing like a little bit of a budget deck, you can uh, go ahead and um, you can, you know, like with this deck, you can make a couple of adjustments, like probably questing beasts, like like I was just talking about, you know, that's a mythic. You could probably turn this into something, you know, like a rare for like if you just want to play Spellbreakers instead. Um, you could probably get away without playing Castle Embriths and Fervent Champion. You could turn into a different one drop, even though it won't be quite as good. 
but you can play a different one drop because fervent champion here it's kind of good and bad like it's it's you know it's a strong creature it's got haste um and uh you know so like that's it's a good creature but it is a human and the halberd is attached to a non-human creature you control whenever you play it immediately so those two don't go uh super well together uh but it it just goes really well with with basically everything else and you know having two fervent champions out is really nice another card you know if you're trying to make a more budget another option you can do is play grim initiate here instead of the fervent champion and get some combins in there and it doesn't have haste but it's still a 1-1 one, one first striker. It's easier to equip this thing. Make it a 3-2 first striker. And then you can also make another body if it dies. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and give this a try. Let's see how this does. Uh, we're going to play like seven games. Uh, like with the best of one decks is what I like to do. We just play like seven games. So we're going to go ahead and play them over here in ranked traditional standard. Let's see. Standard ranked. I haven't. I haven't played ranked in a in a minute. That changed my deck, right? Just make sure. Okay, good. Atarka Red. Yep, recording for YouTube right now, Priestess. And of course streaming with y'all also. And yeah, I explained where the name Atarka came from. Yep. Um there's you know, it's uh <clears throat> Atar just there's a Atarka Red was a strategy. There was, there was different Atarka Red decks in Dragons of Tarkir standard from Atarka's Command was the card. Yeah, so Atarka Red this this was no yeah, it was definitely not the first double strike card at all. This was probably I don't know what that was, like three years ago? Probably about. There wasn't a single card that was the very first card in Magic. Alpha was the first set in Magic. And so just all the cards in Alpha. That does just <clears throat> let my opponent know more about my hand. Oh, yeah, I don't... The... When it's like a, a continued sub like that, it never makes a, an, an alert noise. <laughs> Questing beast. Hard to get through a 5-5. Five five. We can't play our cards. So I'll mark it down. <laughs> yeah, I might have Yeah, it might have been a good choice to put some forest in the deck, that's true.
My, I think my opponent's like looking at their removal spells, like probably, you know, murderous rider, and kind of looking at these creatures and like being like, I don't want to use this. I really don't like Fervent Champion. Our mana situation is not helping us out. Our mana really did not help us out this game. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're we're almost at another 12-hour stream. We just need the seven. The we just got to hit this sub goal today. I'm pretty positive my opponent has Murderous Rider. Yeah, they do. So attacking there is not really that great, but... I can't really, like, you know, go all in. It was just way too late, you know, like, with them holding up mana all the time anyway. That was not going to be a, a W for us. Whoops, wrong way. Alright, not a great first game. Good job, Quite Spiffy. Way to go. Good job. Got that seven win. Went seven zero with Teamer Walker. Is awesome. Awesome. Okay. This looks pretty good. Now again, Fervin Champion and, and Halbred don't work too well together. Yeah, we hit, we have three Umber Cleaves in the deck. We didn't happen to draw any of the Umber Cleaves. But. Is 
is the Simic Flash. Hmm. All right, down to nine. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Don't worry, I got this. So I can, you know, it says equip five. I can equip it for two to the Fervent Champion. So I could, like, equip Fervent Champion here, shock the Teferi. I think it's probably better to get this thing back in play and just attack for one over there. Only time will tell. I'm not even sure if we really ne even need to attack Teferi. It's a strange and magnificent world. Be wary of the ground to walk on. I'm glad we attacked the Teferi so, you know, we get to instant speed Colossus. So hopefully we can get this done with the shock here. Hey, Jazz. You mean they hit? Ugh, looks like Krasis. Pretty, pretty good hand. Turn five, Krasis here, and get another blocker. Oh, just a bad attack. Yeah, we're going best of one day, Monday, today. Hmm. Interesting, Zedalom. <sighs> Why another crisis? Why do they have to have another crisis? Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I had a bad attack. Man. All right, so this questing beast has not looked good. We have we have determined that. Yeah, that was just a pretty perfect hand. Wild and sovereign and free. Turn three to fairy. Turn four Nissa. Turn five Krasis, turn six Krasis. You yeah, know, turn four Nissa into Krasis, Krasis. I was a little too slow again with the, the mana. You know, we had the dead card with. Um, with Questing Beast. Darn. No, well, my opponent's at seven, so I can't really kill them with, with shocks. They're at seven. Because they gained a whole bunch of life with two crisis. Gained six life. Yeah, if we would have had two red mana, yep. If we would have just had two red mana, we would have been able to kill our opponent there. If, you know, if we had mountain, mountain, forest, we would have just been able to double shock. Ugh. <laughs> so yeah, game one we had the 
all red and didn't have green for a long time, and then that game happened. It's it's the best of one, you know. We got got a good amount of variance in best of one. So obviously we would need to draw a green source here. I'm gonna just mulligan. I mean, I guess this is better than mountain. Ideally, we'll have two red and a green, as far as mana goes. We haven't had that, though. I'm going to just get the 3-1 in there. <clears throat> Try to get some more damage with the 3-1. Mighty warrior, I concede. Awesome, Jazz. Yeah, glad you like the Grixis Knights deck from yesterday. That's what I was worried about with attacking Narset. I didn't want to give them more options or more ways to get to find a sweeper. No sword can pierce my scales. <laughs> Magnificent. Well, this is not going well. I wish I could activate this thing and give this plus one. Listen to them roar. I summon you. Our opponents have had a, just a lot, a lot better hands than us. Like it's not, they've not stumbled whatsoever, and all we've, all we've done is stumble between, you know, mold to five. Um, I will this is ranked. You. To be mulling to five, having the wrong colors of mana. Yeah, they always have everything. No, Virde, I didn't. I didn't see that.
I really don't like that that uh, bubble that's that goes up there. Well, they get infinite cards and infinite mana. So that's great. You will feel the behold. Impossible. Hey, good job, Zerf. Good job. I really feel bad about losing that, that second match. The first and third match, our, our hands are just, <clears throat> you know, mold of five, the third one, and, and the first one, we couldn't cast so many of our spells. But that second match, how if we just, if they didn't have a second crisis, or if we just had two mountains, we would have won. If we would have just had this mana base in that second match, would have we would have won that one. This would be a good time to draw Ember Cleave. All right, what's more damage? If I so if we go if we go the Boulder Rush and play this, we're attacking for four. And then next turn, we're only, like, really attacking for three, so that's seven, and we're playing this. Or I can just attack for for one, and then we play the Rimrock Knight, and then next turn, we attack for four, five, six. So one and six is seven. Four and three is seven. It's so the same either way. I'm gonna go this route because it, it frees up my mana. We we have an additional point of we have an additional mana that we can get to spend by going this route. So by going this route, we get the we get to hold up shock. Hey, our our opponent did not have everything. Yeah. All right, we're fighting back. One and three. We're fighting back. I know. Rip the 07 dream. I know. <clears throat> Questing Beast does look a little difficult to cast. I think we should be playing the double green card in this deck.
Goblin! Yeah, Torbrand could be a four drop a four drop for this deck instead of questing beast. It's also, I haven't really been sure if Halbred is better than playing, you know, like Giant Growth and Infuriate and stuff like that. Hey, good job, Sharp Chris. Got 6-1 with the Teamer, Teamer Walker deck. That is awesome. Good job. <clears throat> Not exactly sure how good that attack is because now we don't have, like, the, the three mana for... Or, like, you know, we don't have the three creatures for Ember Cleave. But, you know, with them having, like, these three two lifelinkers, it's difficult for me just to sit back. That's trouble. Two toughness? Okay. Looks like we're going to be suiting up this one goblin. However, I think having death touch is, is a huge problem. And us being at 10, them being at a lot more than 10. Why can't you block? Like these these inspiring veterans just do like the whole halbred thing at themselves, <clears throat> and so like all the the halbreds were all kind of dead cards compared to what my opponent had. All 
or halberd. Sorry, whatever. Halberd. Yeah, the games are very quick. Like I said, I hadn't, hadn't tried this deck out before, but it looked really interesting. Um, hasn't been too good so far. We haven't gotten to play an Ember Cleave, like our our best card. We, we just haven't ever had enough mana to play that thing. This is one of our better hands. Halberd probably has just been worse than like Infuriate or Against a deck that, you know, basic mountain is kind of saying shock, so I don't really want to go with the 2 2 haste. I want to make a 3 3. Yeah, like giant growth and infuriate could be better than this halberd card. Um, Grixis Reanimator. Remember thinking it was going to do better than what it did. Um, and thinking the deck was better than, than like what our win-loss column felt like. Especially, you know, like the second time we played the deck. Um, I liked I liked a lot of what our deck had, but we just didn't uh, put it together too, much, too well. Um... Another Grixis list that's more aggressive, Grixis Knights that we played yesterday looked pretty good. We're looking for, for a, you know, just a Grixis deck. The mana of that deck was pretty rough, but besides that, it did very well. Yeah, this, this hand is definitely a lot more of what our deck's about. Ember Cleave would be amazing, but we got 10 right now. If our opponent has nothing, I guess it looks like they have a shock. We need to draw any any haste creature. Oh, right, but they get attacked. Oh, no, yeah, Steamkin. They played three spells. So Steamkin can slaying fire, kill the goblin. Well... I guess having six mana on turn three is pretty good. Would have been a critical draw to draw something that pumped up the toughness. Rimrock Knight doesn't do that. Since they let me untap, if we would have drawn anything that, that pumped up toughness. Bertalux, what? What? What's your question? One, I, I don't. Okay, so yeah, for the Azorius control, what are other good finishers? I don't know of any other good finisher. I think, I think Finale of Glory is, is the best by far. I don't know exactly what else to play. But what do you mean Finale is out of hand right now? What does that mean? I don't... Like, what does that mean? Okay. Oh, you don't have the wild cards for it. Okay. I was really confused by Finale is out of hand. Very confused there.
I'm totally the best pyromancy student. Yeah, nothing really comes to mind immediately. We can do this of together. like what else to play. In the sideboard there. Or sorry, sorry for a win con there. I have the five mana to be able to uh, <clears throat> equip Halbred. But I think it's better to make these things unblockable. Yeah, we had a really good we had a really good opening hand here. But these you know, we just couldn't quite finish it out. These draw steps haven't been too good. Drawing land to land back to back, the double land top deck. And obviously Steamkin has just let my opponent cast so much more mana worth of stuff. You know, like they've cast three, six, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. They've cast twenty one mana worth of stuff. We've cast one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. We've cast nine. They've cast, what did I say, 21? Uh, add another two, whatever I said. Four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Why are they? Do they just not make? Oh, I guess they haven't activated Chandra yet, right? Did they just not make elementals that would kill us? And then just hit a shock anyway? I mean they had they had the shock they could minus and I guess they were I guess they were planning on slaying fire. That's I guess that was their plan was just minus slaying fire. Yeah, we had a, we had a good first couple of turns. Our first three turns were really good, and then we did we did nothing else besides those first three turns. Runaway Steamkin, still busted. Yeah, they can. Yeah, you have to pay the mana cost, but they have steam. They they had seven mana there because of the Steamkins. So yeah, like I think that was their plan was just to minus for slaying fire. Yeah, we definitely had a lot of draws that would have won us that game last time. Especially how they waited on the slaying fire. If we would have drawn one of our pump spells, that certainly would have been game. All right, we're on the play. We had a pretty good hand. Being on the play in best of one is pretty big. Why did that have a grazer?
Turn one grazer, turn two growth spiral. Ugh. They're gonna have turn they're gonna have turn three golos. All right, we really need to draw another red source so we get to Ember Cleave. We really need another. Um, we really need another red source. At least it's not Golos on turn three. Please, no circuitous route. Please, no circuitous route either. Yeah, K-Control, um, I had two people so far today, you know, in this chat and, you know, just this hour that we've been streaming have come in and said that they went 7-0 or 6-1 with the deck, so. Deck's doing pretty well. Huh. <sighs> We can't have nice things today. <laughs> no, we have 22 lands. We have 22. We don't have 18. We have 22 lands. I keep a two-lander. You could just draw one. I don't know. 22 lands is, is not that l few. Like, I don't know. It's just like, you know, last game, we need, like, any spell for our last two. We just draw a land to land. This game, we need lands we just draw our t two most expensive spells uh, it's just magic just magic thanks toasted There's three Ember Cleaves in the deck. We have 12 haste, one drops. Eight, two drops. Lands just get to gain three life. It's broken. Go, Goblin, go. Not so bad for us. I'm pretty surprised they didn't play the Fae of Wishes also, but I guess I guess they don't want to. Yeah, I guess they don't want to bounce. I mean, they could bounce it with the time wipe though.
Maybe we actually get to play Questing Beast. Our first game to play Embercleave. This could be our first game to play Questing Beast also. Potentially. Yeah, so surprised they didn't just do that last turn. I guess they didn't want me to kill Fae of Wishes. Cost three to equip. All right, if we draw land, we can go Spellbreaker with Equip Embercleave. They have five mana to work with after casting Fae of Wishes. Never mind, six mana. Yeah, their last two draw steps being land to land has actually just helped them out because you know, like the land just gave them the two twos, and like they you know needed this extra mana anyway with favor wishes, so pretty good draws for them there. Wow, they just grabbed a card they can't cast. Really. They manually tapped, too. They manually tapped, like, the two blue lands. Oh, well. We got there. Okay. Ooh, we got a pack also. There we go. We deserve a pack for those seven games. 20 gems. We'll take it. All right, so we went two and five. Um, not a good showing. Our, you know, our deck was a little weak. Like our, our cards just don't quite hit hard enough. You know, like all these one power creatures, it just does not kill opponents very fast. There's a lot of life gain. Um, we, you know, like, it's such a small sample of games, though, but we really, you know, struggled with our mana, for sure. Lost, you know, maybe two or three of those losses were just because of our mana and nothing else. Um, Rose Thorn and Halbred looked pretty bad. You know, like this, this card that, you know, equip creature gets plus two, plus one, this card looked pretty bad. To be fair, we never really had it. I, ne I never had it with Dodger or Ginger Brute where we could make it like an unblockable. And that's kind of the point of the card to put it on these and be able to have an unblockable creature that gets to do damage over multiple turns with this. And we never had it like that. The only time I ever had it, I could only play it on like Zertar Goblin was the only time to play it. And then, you know, they kill like the Zertar Go Goblin. It doesn't work out as well. Um, other options there instead of Halberd. Um are the other ones I was thinking out there, Infuriate as being a nice pump spell, or of course Giant Growth as well. Um, those are some other options there. But yeah, we just had we just had like some really tough mana problems. We didn't get to play Ember Cleave or Questing Beast until our seventh game. Because <laughs> a lot of times they were just stuck in hand, we couldn't cast them. But yeah, the Rimrock Knight not being able to block was kind of rough. I don't know. That's our deck, though. Um, okay, so that's a Tarka Red. So, you know, trying out some different stuff here in Best of One. First deck didn't go so well. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, they're not all going to be perfect. If you're watching on YouTube again, let me know if you've been playing Best of One, what you've been liking um, over there. Some of you are Best of One at deck lists and everything. And also let me know what you think about playing uh, Best of One. Hopefully y'all enjoy these games we're gonna move on to our next deck though we're gonna play some mardu merriment for our next deck that's right basically mardu control with outlaws merriment so hopefully y'all check that out 
Uh, that's it here for Otaka Red. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, also please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.